All right, everybody, welcome back to Tech Talk with Dan Harley. Uh, this is episode number 105, How to Mandalay Bay Security Mess All the Guns, recorded October 5th, 2017. I'll tell you, people, um, this week was pretty tragic. We had, uh, this is the, just after this weekend, we had the tragic shooting in Las Vegas. Uh, as far as, so far, 59 people have been killed. Uh, hundreds uh, have been uh, um, injured. Uh, me personally, I have many, many, many friends in Las Vegas, and I, you know, I, naturally it's it's it it is um, came pretty close, pretty home, close to home to me, and uh, so uh, lots of um, crazy things have been happening, and lots of questions too, and um, I saw something regarding security and technology. That I might be able to answer in this in this episode here, so I thought I might do my part here. So we're, that's where we do discuss about this uh, during this episode. A uh, quick recap is a uh, tech one oh uh, tech talk episode one oh four. What does news newspaper advertisements suck? If you are advertising newspaper at, at all, you really need to see that video, that show there to catch up on um, how these folks here, those new paper ad uh, folks, can kind of give you the runaround. And so that kind of covers that, cover cover that in that, that last episode here. So anyway, before we get going here, let's do some quick announcements. Uh, as usual, thank you for listening and watching. I do this for you folks out there to help help you improve your internet life as well as improve your your business on the internet. Um, if you are listening on iTunes or an, or an Android podcast directory, if you're watching YouTube, or if you found us on Facebook, do me a big favor, rate my show. Uh, give us a thumbs up, send a review, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, question, kudos, all that good stuff. It helps my uh, my readership grow, my, helps my audience grow, and I really, really appreciate it. Now, if you need to find me on the YouTube channel, podcast show, the Facebook page, page whatever, the fastest way to do that is go to primeconcepts.net. That's P-R-I-M-E-C-O-N-C-E-P-T-S dot, dot N-E-T. You can find links to the podcast show, the YouTube channel, and the Facebook page right there. Also, you got just lots of cool stuff on there. Lots of um, free tutorials on business-related internet stuff. And especially my favorite um, tutorial, free and almost free ways to advertise your business online. So please pass the word, share the episode, and tell us about the podcast show and the YouTube channel. A uh, quick legal disclaimer, products mentioned in this and other episodes of Tech Talk with Dan Harley could be paid as affiliate commission, promotion commission, or the liking by the product or service provider. In other words, in other words I might try to sell you something. While I'm doing that, make sure you take advantage of our um, our, of our um, sponsor, which is Carbonite. If you don't back up your computer and important data on a regular basis, you can risk losing it on a split second. And trust me, that's happened to me many times. So, you know, stuff like your accounting files, your personal documents, family pictures, and other important files can be lost in a split second. Uh, that's why we need something like Carbonite. And what Carbonite is, is a cloud backup service. It's renowned for being, for being extremely used, easy to use, and extremely easy, easy to install. Uh, no technical skills needed. Uh, backs up everything on computer automatically. Uh, it has high quality encryption. So those of you who are in the medical field or legal field where you have HIPAA compliant issues or other type of compliance issues regarding security, rest assured they have a product for you. And um, also it's uh, very affordable, less than 20 cents per day to back up and, pre and protect your computer. So um, we partnered up with Carbonite to allow me to make this free, this special offer here. Let me kind of kick it up there, make sure you all see that. Um, there is a link on the page. I hope it's so there. Um, you got a free 15-day trial of Carbonite. Go to primeconsoles.net slash link slash Carbonite. That's primeconsoles.net slash link slash Carbonite. You're going to find out for yourself how easy it is to use, how easy it is to install, and hopefully how how inexpensive it is to run. So also, if you're having any problems with your business, spending if you're spending too much um, money on a website that's going nowhere, if you, if you think you're going and doing internet marketing not getting anywhere, um, if you need to take your, take your business online you got no idea how to do it, Give us a call. Our um, initial consultation is always free, and and those initial consultations, I've been I've been proud to say that I got lots and lots of folks, more more business owners I can I can count going in the right direction and making them successful. So you can you can you can schedule a free consultation at 760-247-4814. 4814 or find more information at primeconsult.net. All right, to the uh, topic of the day here. How did Mentally Bay security miss all the guns? Well, first of all, let me talk about 
um, my relationship with with uh, with Las Vegas. Uh, I um, I first of all, I, where I'm in, I'm in Apple Valley, California, which is relatively close to Las Vegas. In fact, there's nothing but barstool between myself and La, and uh, Las Vegas. So, and uh, it's actually easier for me to fly out out of out of um, uh, Las Vegas than is LAX sometimes. So, um, so it's kind of down the street, in a matter of speaking. And so, because of that, and and we have basically the same kind of environment here. We're in the desert. Just like Vegas, a lot of my friends have moved to Vegas because it's uh, a lot like Apple Valley, but a big city, and so the so the climate space is the same, but got lot, lots of jobs, so they move out there. And uh, also, my family moved our corporation to Nevada in the early '90s. We had our corporate office in uh, just on the Sarah Boulevard, and so I went to visit visit Las Vegas a lot, and um, I almost moved there. <laughs> so so doing that so much. So, and also my relationship with Rotary, my, the district. That my rotary club is in is just at 5300, and we're uh, that includes Clark County in Nevada. So I got lots of ro lots and lots of rotary friends out there too. So I have a, a lots of friends over there. In fact, I don't even, I don't know how many I have. Um, I'm pretty sure the number of friends in Las Vegas is is uh, second only to my friends I have locally in Apple, here in Apple Valley. So um, that in mind, I am rightly I was rightly concerned of when the when everything went down with the shooting in Las Vegas. I first thing I thought, oh my God, my some of my friends had got had, were there, and I naturally thought the worst. And um, thankfully, 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 uh, no one that I know of was injured or or killed. I, I just thank for everybody because I really thought the worst. However, unfortunately, some friends of my friends, some friends, some of my friends knew those who had passed, uh, got killed, and uh, or injured. So. I uh, my sympathies and my heartfelt uh, prayers out go out to those folks out there. So, um, well, needless to say, this incident had brought up a lot of questions, like why did this guy do it, you know, how to get away with it, how you do, do it, how did he get so many guns in, in, into uh, the Mandalay Bay? Um, lots of questions. But one thing question I might be helpful with is um, might be asked about security and. Security surrounding Mandalay Bay. I mean, why didn't they catch him? Why didn't they? What kind of security security equipment they have, and and why this guy slipped through this whole thing here? So, um, I figured if at the least I might be able to solve that one little portion of technology or security that may not be as uh, controversial as other stuff, uh, but important nonetheless. So, anyway. To let you folks know out there, yeah, I used to do this IT work for a few small hotels, and I also got to tour uh, and non-critical uh, areas of, of a larger hotel uh, to see what they do. And uh, now I can't reveal a whole lot what I what I seen because of uh, of uh, I want well for, for um, professional courtesy. I'm not going to reveal security uh, holes. Um, uh, of who we're at and all this stuff, and uh, but anyway, I can provide invite enough to probably answer some technical questions regardless. So, um, first of all, uh, a lot of people ask about cameras and if they have um, sensors in the windows or the doors and stuff like that. Yes, they do for the most part. However, the one thing that just sticks out a lot in these hotels is you got lots and lots and lots and lots of cameras everywhere. Especially larger properties, they get cameras. They can afford it. They can afford it because one thing that they, they they got the money for it, um, and it's important to them. But uh, they can afford to put everywhere. And also on top of that, they usually have redundancy. So anywhere on the property, you usually have at least two cameras looking at the same spot. So those of you folks out there thinking you're, you're in, let's say, Circus Circus or uh, Mandalay Bay or whatever Treasure Island, or you're you think you're just knocking around the corner, odds are there's a camera looking at you. you they don't real you don't realize it's there. So. <clears throat> and you know you can think of you know casino floors definitely covered everywhere, uh, hallways and corridors. Uh, there's cameras facing the front and the side of the buildings, and parking lots, employee areas. And now one thing that uh, legally the hotel properties cannot do is put a camera in the bedrooms. Um, that probably a given. Uh, but however, there's certainly monitoring on the outside of these uh, 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 the bedrooms and all this to the rooms so now 
the cameras themselves, the reason why there's, and now granted, you know, you talk about uh, a lot of pe people ask too, do they have, um, you know, alarming systems for the windows? What so we can, uh, how do they figure out if a window's broke? Um, what it, they technically could wire up each window, each each window sill with some type of sensor, but it's actually more practical to point a camera at the front of a building, and with the sophistication, the new equipment actually creates an alarm for them. So that goes uh, that kind of segues into the equipment is becoming much, much, much more sophisticated, and very quickly too. I mean, equipment just five or six years old doesn't compare to the stuff that's now that's going on right now. Um, and also much cheaper, much cheaper. So cameras used to cost a thousand dollars. There's cameras now that cost, let's say, less than a hundred dollars that do a lot more than cameras used to cost a thousand dollars. And so, with that in mind, um, these properties deploy more cameras and deploy more more equipment and sensor and monitor a lot, lot more. Uh, one thing I was a little bit surprised with all this stuff is the the small relatively small staff that's monitoring all this stuff uh you would think there would be banks of uh of people watching monitors hundreds of people but really uh, a handful and that's really all they need um <clears throat> because the sophisticated equipment actually uh, gets attention of whoever's monitoring it uh, on that specific spot so there's no need to sit there and watch the monitor for 24 7. you just wait for you wait for an, an event event alert to happen so um so like i say this stuff here the how the uh, for the most part now do they have other more sophisticated stuff like infrared equipment yes there's a lot of other actuation type of equipment out there um you know uh security openings stuff like that uh but for the, for the most part you're going to see here in the hotels lots of cameras <clears throat> so anyway um, now let's get to the big question. How come uh, Manly Bay missed the shooter? Obviously they did. Uh, this gentleman here, well, I'm going to just call him gentleman, the murderer. Um, my, my apology for calling this a gentleman because he's not a gentleman if he killed that many people. Um, snuck in with apparently dozens of guns into his suite and it just done over a few days here. <clears throat> Obviously, uh, Manila Bay was not on top of it. Um, it, it but obviously here, this whole situ this whole um, shooting was very well planned, very well orchestrated. So, and so the security people at Manila Bay obviously cannot really prepare for something that you never thought would go was going to happen. So there you are. How, however, um, they did respond, react very quickly, uh, according to what I've read and uh, what I've seen here. One security folks at Manila Bay was able to locate the shooter within minutes, within about 10 minutes after the shooting started, um, which it subsequently notified the, the 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 police, SWAT, and all that stuff, and uh, cut what it would been uh, what it would have been a much longer melee of shootings down to nine, 10, 15 minutes. It was bad. It was terrible. It was gruesome. 59 people lost their lives and hundreds of people were, were injured. However, it could, have been, it could have been a lot, lot, lot worse had it not been for Mandalay Bay security being on the ball. And a lot of them being on the ball was, was because of the security equipment they had to be able to respond on. So, um, so anyway, I'm pretty sure... There's lots of video footage. There's nothing here to sell you too. They may not have caught the, the 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 killer at the time, but they can surely have a lots of information on backtracking as to how he got there, why he got there, where he's bringing in. There's there's certainly lots of video footage that uh, the powers to be are going to be uh, sifting through over the many days and weeks and months to 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 follow here to try to figure out what happened and why. And rest assured. The security folks here, one thing I know notice as well here too is if an event happened, they make sure they, they analyze it, they analyze it, and they analyze it, and they take measures to make sure it doesn't happen again. And this is definitely going to be a one-time situation for Mandalay Bay. So <clears throat> it's unfortunate it has to happen after the fact. They have to be reactive, but what can you do? <clears throat> now, um, 
Anyway, now, now granted, this you know, another thing I mentioned here too. This is a a uh, podcast to help small business owners. So how does this all help out the small business owners? Well, it actually does in a way. Um, because of these hotels, because um, of the high security and, and the demand for it, and high demand for it, um, they push the cutting edge of the technology. They push the cutting edge on, on, on the cost factors, so on and so forth, to make it actually um, much cheaper for the small business owners to be able to secure their facilities to be much, much sophisticated and much cheaper than ever before. Um, and for instance, um, one of my clients were working on um, a DVR system. It just bought a, a 60 channel DVR um, with for less than a thousand dollars, and that's less than one thousand dollars. They got smart monitoring. Um, they got um, remote access to the cameras the, via internet. Relatively easy to install and set up. I mean, what for what a, one camera used to cost now it can do. You know, they have a very, very sophisticated system um, that would just run circles around what things were uh, 10 years ago. Um, and that's all thanks to the larger hotels and motels, uh, hotels, uh, casinos, uh, pushing the edge, uh, pushing the edge of, of this type of technology. So now here's something else. Here Many small business, small and medium sized businesses, they fall short on adequate security because they're thinking five years, 10 years ago and how much it costs that. And I tell you, now time, if you haven't thought about what what security costs, now's the time to revisit all that. Because uh, it's getting, like I say, cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Um, <clears throat> if you think it's too expensive, you think again. Um, if you think it's too complicated, well, it could be, but um, you want that complexity. Um, but it, it, it really, the, the installations, and it, it's not as, as complicated as it, as it, as it used to be. Um, and quite often, a lot of people, a lot of small business owners, they, they be keep keep the mentality that it costs too much. They put off putting the security systems like this together, camera systems like this together, until they get robbed, and it's too late. It's like after the fact. So, and this is something I probably wanted to, in summarizing here, you know, you folks out there, small small medium sized businesses that have not, don't have a security system or have not updated in a while here, you may want to rethink that. If if anything comes out of um, this Mandalay Bay situation is probably let's look at your security system, make sure it's all up to date. Um, so anyway, um, in summary, yeah, uh, casinos like Mandalay Bay and my other clients I've seen, yeah, they're very heavily secured. They got lots of cameras everywhere, and the security is getting better and better while costing getting less and less. Um, not unfortunately, even the best security can't catch everything, like what happened here over the weekend. Um, the shooter basically got away with murder, murdering 59 people. Um, however, however, uh, Mandalay Bay and the other casinos will will observe what's going on, assess what's happening, and they're going to improve. They're definitely going to improve the security to make sure it doesn't happen again. Um, now, and, and all this will benefit the small BSI business owners because all this stuff is is flows down to the small business owners where they'll get better security equipment for much cheaper. So anyway, an offer I give you folks now is, um, this is my no not my normal gig doing security, but um, I'm willing to consult you folks on there. So uh, if you want to talk about security issues with your business, um, by all means, give us a call and set up a free consultation. We'll, we'll discuss it. Um, you can uh, contact us at primeconsult.net. Send an email to info at primeconsult.net or call at 760-247-4814. So anyway, that's going to be it for this this uh, episode here. And once again, for my friends in Las Vegas, I'm so glad that all you here to listen to this this, this podcast. Um, I hope it. I, I just my heart would just just sink to the ground when I heard about this. So. I'm so happy to, to know that all you folks are all okay. My prayers for the folks who, who had been um, hurt, injured, um, or lost a loved one through this. Uh, my prayers out for you. So anyway, that's for the, that's it for the excess, this episode. Thanks for watching, with, watching and listening. Good luck and Godspeed to your online success.